very basic movement from Pilates, but it feels so good. Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango and welcome back to our Mango Crush series. Today we are going to do a combination between heat Pilates and total body Pilates, which means the first part is going to be high intensity interval training Pilates workout to help you raise your metabolism to burn some fat. And the second part will be total body Pilates workout to maintain the effectiveness from the first part and also strengthen all the muscles around your body. So if you're ready to throw your mat and let's do this together. Alright, now let's start by some warm movements. So we're going to inhale, sit tall with your back in neutral, belly button in, relax your shoulders, chest open. Now feel free to open your legs, sit with the part, bend your knees if it's easier for you to open the hips and to lengthen the spine. Sit tall, so we're going to inhale deeply through your nose, relax your shoulders. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And a couple more times with your own breath. Try not to raise your shoulders up. And belly button in, inhale and exhale. One more deep breath and exhale deeply. Open your arms to the side, lean on one side to do side bending, come back to the opposite side, back to the center five more times each side with your own breath. Keep breathing, lengthen your waist and lengthen your arms. Inhale and exhale to the other side, come back and two to the opposite side, try to go a little bit further if you can, last one and slowly bring your hands down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth, bring your hand on hand to the front of your chest, shoulders down, relax and start to bring your torso to the left, to the right and then come back ten times with your own breath, so keep breathing nine belly button in and eight keep breathing seven lengthen your spine feel your oblique twisting go a little bit further if you can and five very good four inhale to the left exhale come back always keep your arms parallel to the ground and two more times here yeah. and last one to the opposite side and slowly bring your hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And reverse. Now bring your head to one side, feel the side of your neck is stretching. To the other side. Back to the center, look down. And look up. And one more time, to the left. To the right, relax your shoulders, come back, look down and look up and slowly bring it back to the center, shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, now bring your arms towards the front, lengthen your arms, shoulders down, open your arms to the side and then come back for five, four, three, keep breathing, two and last one open come back arms to the side start to rotate a tiny circle so 10 9 8 7 whole arms rotating 4 3 2 1 and then reverse 7 6 keep breathing 4 3 2 and 1 and now reach your hand to one side to the opposite side keep your arms parallel to the ground very good and 5 4 go a little bit further Three, inhale and exhale and two and last one and slowly bring it back to the center all right now let's go to on four position open your arm shoulders apart and your legs stick with the part now lengthen your arm shoulders on top of your wrists and hips on top of your knees dip your shoulders down between your arms and lift it up for five four keep breathing lengthen your neck look down two and last one now articulate your spine shoulders far away from your ears and look towards the front cat and cow come back around your spine chin your chest and bring it back a couple more times with your own breath pull the belly button in inhale 
and exhale in two more times yeah. and come back squeeze your inner thighs your booty muscles and slowly bring your torso back to the center keep your feet toward the center tuck your feet and I wanted to inhale whack your hips from left to right like a little cat wagging the tail very good keep breathing and three two one come back to the center roll your spine chin to chest and hold it here for five four three two one come back to neutral now i wanted to inhale lift your wrist up come back to the opposite side and come back and a couple more times with your own breath keep breathing and do it slowly feel your hands and your fingers are stretching very good and slowly bring it down move forward come back we're going to try to move to the main workout from here so tuck your feet open your knees i want to inhale and lift your knees off the mat and bring it down in one minute on 30 on 0.5 minutes so slowly with your own breath keep breathing soften your elbows if you need to if you want to make it easier just press your whole forearms down to the mat lengthen your neck and look down to the middle of your fingers keep breathing or just lengthen your arms if it's more challenging and also easier at some point <laughs> very good keep breathing pull the belly button in inhale lift exhale down come back and slowly make sure you keep your shoulders on top of your wrist pull the belly button in beautiful inhale up exhale down engage your core as much as possible and feel free to stop to take a quick rest for a couple of seconds anytime you need to and then right back to the game very good keep breathing and lift and down up and down only 30 more seconds you can do this beautiful keep breathing inhale and exhale come back engage your core as much as possible lift and down very good you can do this you can bring one knee up and to the opposite side to make it easier if you need to really listen to your body and a couple more seconds very good and lengthen up down three two one come back and bring your forearms out start to lift your knees up and down the same movement but try to make it as quick as you can you can move your knees further away don't jump just move so just keep breathing listen to your body shoulders on top of your elbows and a couple more seconds we're halfway there very good keep breathing feel your thighs your booty are working like crazy even it's just the first part of the workout but no worries i'm gonna just take it easy right to three two one and knees down very good come to own position open your legs to width apart now articulate your spine shoulders far away from your ears and roll your spine chin your chest belly button in come back a couple more times and roll your spine bring it back very good inhale and exhale pull the belly button in now keep your knees and your feet toward the center and for the low intensity part just bring your leg and the opposite leg to the parallel to the ground and reach as far as you can inhale lengthen exhale come back try to stabilize your hips so only your legs and your arms are moving your torso is stabilized soften your opposite elbow if you need to very good keep breathing squeeze your booty come back to the other side come back to the center beautiful inhale and exhale to the opposite side and keep breathing here with your own breath good lengthen and come back to the other side inhale deeply belly button in make sure your hips always facing down to the mat all right and now for the next movement just come to full plank start to bring your leg up and down as good as you can so pull the belly button in stabilize your torso put your forearms down to the mat if you want to make it easier just listen to your body keep breathing very good inhale and exhale to the opposite side halfway you can do this keep breathing 
Very good. Pull the belly button in. And three, two, one. Come back, knees bend. Come to try pose. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Walk your hands halfway, lengthen and round your spine and lengthen your spine. And one more time. And slowly, and just start to come to lie all the way down on your back, your belly. I mean, all right. Now I'm gonna take, keep your hands next to your chest. Just press your forearms down. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Pull the belly button in. Press your whole forearms down to lift your torso up and bring your torso down. You can open your arms a little bit wider if it's more comfortable for you to keep your back in neutral position. So lift it up and down. Up. Inhale and exhale. And don't have to go so far. Now listen to your lower back here. We only go to the part you feel good and comfortable with the lower back. But make sure you pull the belly button towards the spine to feel more support. Lengthen your neck. Look down to the mat all the time. Don't pull your chin up and look up. Good. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. And a couple more times with your own breath. Very good. And lift and down, up and down, belly button in. All right, now forearms down, come here and lift to forearm plank, lift your leg up and down as quick as you can, as quick as you can. Very good. Pull the belly button in and you can do this. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. And halfway already, just try to go as quick as you can. Listen to your body, hips down a little bit, but don't arch your back. Pull the belly button in. Couple more seconds. You're almost done, guys. Three, two, one. Heels down and come to try pose. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath and exhale. And allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. Okay, so now this time I wanted to. Inhale and lift your legs up to 90 degrees, arms along your body. Open your arms a little bit wider to have more support. Now lengthen your leg towards the back and one knee to chest to the opposite side slowly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, switch. Inhale and exhale. And reverse the breath if you need to. And a couple more times, just slowly. You can even lift your head off the mat and use your hand to pull the knee towards the chest more. Press your lower back down to the mat and keep breathing, chest high, go to support your neck. You can always use your hand to support your head anytime if you need to. Or just try to lift your chest even higher. Keep breathing. Very good. Okay. For the next movement, when the bells ring and when the sound going, I wanted to make it as quick as you can. So you're gonna have a couple more seconds before we speed it up. Keep breathing, pull the belly button in, inhale and reach, stabilize your hips, go as far as you can and start to speed it up as quick as you can. Very good, stabilize your torso, chest high, go to feel your six back abs are burning and burning like crazy. I love this so much, I hope you're enjoying it too. Let me know how it go for you after you've done this workout. I would really love to hear from you guys. So just quick, 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 go a little bit further and don't forget to breathe. Inhale, quick breath, exhale every time you switch and slowly bring your head down, hug your knees to your chest, shake your hips, rotate your ankles and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, keep your arms still on your body. Lift one leg up, activate your feet and switch. Keep the same angle on your knee and go slow. Keep breathing. Now, if you need anything um, to support your neck more, you can always use a pillow and rest your head on it. So just keep breathing. In my case, I have my hair is a little bit big here. So it's always support my neck and I feel really comfortable on it. So keep breathing. The key thing here, we want to keep the neck in neutral while you're moving and working your legs. 
to make it to the most comfortable very good keep breathing and go a little bit further if you can only to the point you can keep your back in neutral and don't add your back so belly button in inhale and exhale and switch and a couple more times with your own breath and again for the next movement the high intensity move i wanted to just like this but move as quick as you can so keep breathing put the belly button in the slower we do the more challenging it is and we speed up very good and try to not drop your foot down just try to bring it down with control and as quick as you can like we're running but try to go as quick as you can same angle on your knees all the time press your shoulder blades down to the mat and stabilize your torso only your legs are moving we're working really hard today and i'm really proud of you guys so just keep doing it we're almost done and slowly hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath rotate your ankles and reverse press both feet down open your legs see with the part Lift your head off the mat, use your hand to support. Now open your elbows wider, press your lower back down. I wanted to inhale and exhale, try to lift your chest higher and then come back. So I wanted to do this for a couple more times here. Exhale, reach, inhale down. Make sure you always try to lift your chest up, not just your head. So that way you're going to walk your six pack abs more. Exhale, reach. Inhale down, exhale through your mouth and inhale through your nose. Very good. Keep breathing, pull the belly button in, come back. Couple more times with your own breath and reach and down and up and down. Keep breathing, very good. Beautiful. Exhale, reach, inhale down, knit. Engage your core as much as possible. Open your elbows wider if you can. Reach your shoulders, use your shoulders to lead the movement. Use your chest to lift it up, not your neck or your head. Beautiful. Use your core to lift your head up, not your arms. Very good, your arms just here to support your head if you need to. Beautiful. And slowly bring your head down, start to bend your knee and bring your knee to the chest again now you can always make bring your head up if you want to make it more challenging you can even cross um crisscross to bring your chest to the opposite knee if you want more challenge here so keep breathing pull the belly button in this is the last round so we're going to try your best inhale exhale reach reach and slowly bring your head down Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Rotate your ankles. And exhale. All right, lengthen your legs up. flex with your feet. Open your arms to the side. Open your leg to the side. Come back. And we're gonna move to the second part, which is total body pilates very good keep breathing try to lengthen your legs as much as you can and make sure if you bend your knees your knees on top of your hips so a couple more times with your own breath inhale open and exhale come back three two keep your ankles 90 degrees last one hug your knees to your chest shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready, rotate your ankles, reverse, press your feet down, open your legs a bit apart and tuck your hips all the way up and slowly bring it down. Come back, go each vertebra at a time off the mat and bring it back, feel like we're peeling the banana off the mat. Very good, keep breathing, inhale and exhale and five more times with your breath with your booty muscles and feel that booty is working three press your shoulder blades down two your whole arms down and last one and slowly bring your hips down shake your hips inhale deeply and exhale deeply 
and slowly lean on one side to do side kick series. Hands support your head and the other hand in front of your chest. Lengthen your legs towards the front of the mat. Make sure your hips not forward, not backward. Just stabilize and hip on hip. Shoulders far away from your ears. Activate your feet. And to inhale and lift your leg up just above the hips. Start to make a little pull here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dorsi flex with the feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, and slowly move your top leg towards the front and bring it back to the center 10 times. So, 10, keep breathing, press your lower leg down to the mat. 9, stabilize your torso, press your hands down for more support. 8, inhale, and exhale. You can always rest your head down on your arm if it's easier for the wrist and the neck. Beautiful. 7, press your Lower leg down, but you also can bend your knees if it's easier for the balance. Six, beautiful. And five, inhale and exhale. Stabilize your hips. Four, only your leg is moving. And three, keep breathing. Two, belly button in. And last one. And exhale. And slowly bring your legs down. All right, now I'm going to. Extend your ankles and engage your core. Try to rest your head down on your arm. Press both hands down to the mat. Lift each leg up at a time and then bring each leg down at a time. Now inhale, lift and exhale down. 10, 9, keep breathing. 8, 7, pull the belly button in. 6, and 5, inhale and exhale. 4, Three, keep breathing. Very good. Two. And last one. And slowly bring it down. Lift both legs up at the same time and come back. And if you want to make it easier, just each leg at a time. So ten. Nine. Keep breathing. Eight. Seven. Stabilize your torso. Six. And five. Bring it down slowly with control. Four. Three. Very good. Two and last one. All right, the last one. Bend your bottom knee, lengthen your top leg just above the hips, and kick all the way towards the front and bring it back ten times. So ten. Keep breathing. Try to go as far as you can. Nine. All range of movement. Eight. Very good. Seven. Keep breathing. Six. And five more times. You got your own breath. Four. Belly button in, three inhale and exhale, and two more times. And last one, kick and come back and slowly lengthen your legs. Allow yourself to come up to the opposite side. So, hands support your head and the other hand in front of your chest. Both legs towards the front of the mat and activate your feet. Now, I'm going to inhale and lift your legs just above the hips. Start to make a little pull. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dorsi flex with the feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. And now slowly bring it up and down 10 times. So, 10, keep breathing. 9, 8, 7, 6, pull the belly button in, 5, 4, keep breathing, 3, 2, and last one, up and down, lift it up, plantar flex with the feet, bring your top leg towards the front and bring it back to the center. So press your bottom foot down and you can always bend your bottom knee if it's easier for you, 10, 9, keep breathing, rest your head down on your arm if it's easier for the wrist. Seven, very good. Six, keep breathing. Keep your leg always parallel to the ground. Five, four, belly button in. Three, inhale and exhale. And two, and last one. Move forward and then come back and bring your leg down. And now rest your head down on your arm. Press both hands down to the mat. Lift each leg up at a time and bring it down. And 10 times, you get your own breath. And don't have to go so far, just to the point that your bottom leg can actually touch the top one. Very good. Keep breathing. Seven, six, pull the belly button in. Five, 
four. So stabilize your torso. Three, two, and last one. And slowly bring both legs down and lift both legs up at the same time. If you can, ten or each leg at a time if it's easier for you. Nine, eight, seven. Keep breathing. Press your hips down. Belly button in to support your lower back. Four. Press both hands down. Three, two, shoulders far away from your ears. Last one. All right. Now bend your bottom knee, the top leg just above the mat. And again, inhale, kick all the way towards the front and then come back 10 times. So 10, nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, kick, and then come back. Five, six, and five more times here. Four, belly button in. Three, two, go a little bit further. And last one. And slowly bring your legs lengthen. Lift up, lift up, <laughs> and go to on four position again. Now open your arms, shoulders apart, and your legs stay with the part. Tuck your feet. I want to inhale and lift your knees off the mat and exhale, bring it down 10 times here. So 10, keep breathing. Nine, belly button in. Eight, seven shoulders on top of your wrist put your forearms down if it's easier for your wrist and three keep breathing two and last one lift and down all right now keep your feet toward your knees towards the center i wanted to inhale and make sure you push your shoulders up so lengthen your neck look down to the mat lengthen your leg one leg now inhale and lift your leg up bend your knee to the side and lengthen and down 10 times so 10 keep breathing reach and then come back all range of movement nine i wanted to go a little bit further and make sure your hips still facing down to the mat stabilize your hips eight only your leg is moving seven six inhale halfway exhale halfway and five more times here with your own breath four belly button in and three inhale lift Bend, exhale, come back and down, two, and last one, and slowly bring your leg down, bend your knee to the other side, activate your feet, lift it up, knee bend, come back and down, and ten, nine, very good, eight, and seven, six, inhale, and exhale and four belly button in three good two more times here try to reach as far as you can stabilize your torso last one and slowly bend your knees stretch your hips and head deeply to your nose rotate your ankles and then reverse and again we're gonna lay down on your back lengthen your legs up and extend your ankles Open your elbows wider. You can even lengthen your whole arms and press down to make it more support. Or you could just put your hands on your abs and then pull the belly button in. Activate your feet. Open your legs to the side and come back. You can even use your hand to press down on your hip bones if it's easier for you to stabilize your hips. Just pull the belly button in. Nine. Keep breathing. Eight. Open as wide as you can. Come back. Seven. Come back with control. Six, squeeze your inner thighs. And five, four. Try to lengthen your leg as much as you can. Two, feel my legs shaking right now. Last one, and slowly bend your knees to 90 degrees. Open your arms, press your whole arms down. Start to bring your legs to the left. And come back to the right. Bring it back to the center and 10 times step with each side with your own breath. Press your whole arms and shoulders down for more support. Nine, inhale. And exhale to the other side. Try to bring your knees further away so that way you feel it's working more on your lower abs and your oblique. Seven. Inhale your core as much as possible. Go a little bit further and activate your feet all the time. And five, shoulder blades down. Come back to the opposite side. Four, inhale. Oh, range of movement to the other side. 
but just go as far as you can press your opposite shoulders down and feel good on the lower back three to the opposite side and two more times here yeah. I love this one so much last one this very basic movement from Pilates but it feels so good and slowly bring your legs down open your legs see with the pat all right now from here i wanted to press your feet down arms along your body slightly open wider so that way you feel more comfortable with your shoulders draw your hips all the way up now tap your feet lift your heels up up and down so 10 9 8 keep breathing 7 6 belly button in 5 4 3 two and last one lift and down now inhale reach your hips up as high as you can pull the belly button in and now from here open your elbows your knees wider and then bring your knees towards the center and come back ten nine eight seven squeeze your booty six try to lift your hips as high as you can five and listen to your lower back four pull the belly button in three two and last one and draw your hips down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose rotate your ankles and exhale deeply through your mouth and reverse all right and when you're ready i wanted to lean on one side to do side lift so forearm down to the mat shoulder on top of your elbows and bend your bottom knee lengthen your top leg now engage your core pull the belly button in lift your hips as high as you can now i wanted to make sure you engage your core Press your hip, your foot down to the mat, lift your bottom leg up and lengthen, come back. So five, four, very good, three, keep breathing, and two, and last one, lift and down, bring your hips down. Now, dorsiflex with your feet, lift your hips up again, and now this time, lift your top leg up, Make a, try to bring it up and down as high as you can. So ten, nine, shoulders far away from your ears, seven six keep breathing and five four three two and last one and slowly bring your hips down go to the opposite side so again for a hand on hand and bend your bottom knee your top leg just press down lift your hips as high as you can engage your core and use your core to hold this position so you can lift your bottom leg up activate your foot lengthen come back so five four you can do this three two and last one lengthen come back and bring your hips down now dorsiflex flex with your feet lift your hips up one more time lift your leg as high as you can and bring it down belly button in last one and slowly bring your heels down come to sit along the mat hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth show your heels a little bit inhale and exhale on my deep breath and exhale try to sit tall now lengthen your spine relax your shoulders hand behind your thighs now this time lift your heels off the mat lean backward push your chest up engage your core try to bring your legs up at the same time parallel to the ground or you can just do each leg at a time find a balanced spot on your sitting bones or you can start with one leg first it's totally fine now this time i wanted to engage your core lengthen your leg five times four or both legs at a time three keep breathing belly button in two don't pull so hard on your hand use your core to do that and slowly bring your leg down and lift it up again and to the opposite side if you do one leg at a time and lengthen come back and five or both legs at a time four keep breathing engage your core three use your core to work the legs two and the hips and last one slowly bring your legs down you guys are amazing inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now until i just start to lengthen your legs dorsi flex with your feet arms towards the front of the mat now inhale and slowly lean backward round your spine change your chest push your chest up so i want to engage your core lift one leg up and down to the opposite side you can always bring your torso back further forward 
to the center if it's easier for the core and for the lower back so listen to your body i want to go a little bit further because i want to challenge myself so lift as high as you can 10 9 8 one leg at a time 7 keep breathing 6 we're gonna do the right first 4 3 very good 2 belly button in last one and move backwards shake your hips a little bit go to the other side and again push up or you can bend your knee to make it easier just listen to your body 10 9 8 7 6 keep breathing 5 4 very good 3 2 and last one lift and down and bring your torso back shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right, and now I'm going to allow yourself to lengthen your arms to the side, lengthen your spine, and extend your ankles. Keep your feet towards the center, palms facing down. Inhale and bring your arms towards the front, chest up, lengthen, and bring it back. So work your core a little bit here, 10 times. 10, keep breathing. 9, belly button in. 8, belly all the way towards the spine. 7, press your sitting bones down. And 5, Press your heels down, only your torso are moving. Three, try not to roll your spine, but lengthen your spine all the time. Engage your core to support and slowly bring your hands down, shake your hips. And now slowly bring your hands behind your hips, close your elbows, bend your knees, press your feet down, lift your hips off the mat. Now we're going to engage your core and bend your elbows slightly and lengthen and bend for five, four. Look towards the front, three. Don't have to go so deep to listen to your body and your wrist. Last one, and now bring your hips down. Rotate your top fingers towards the opposite side. Lengthen your legs, engage your core, push your chest up, pull the belly button in. Now inhale and lift one leg up as high as you can and bring it down just above the mat again. Five, four, three, two, and last one. And down to the other side. Lift and down, and five, four, three two and last one up and down and bring your hands down for arms down to the mat try to bring one knee to the chest lengthen one leg to the front push your chest up chin to chest look towards the front inhale and switch so ten nine keep breathing eight belly button in seven six five don't hold your breath four exhale every time you switch two and last one and slowly bring your legs down press one foot down and lengthen one leg dorsiflex flex with your feet lift your hips off the mat now i want you to make sure you bring your elbows backward so your elbows over your shoulders i want you to engage your core lift your hips up lift your leg just above the mat and make little pulls here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 chin to chest all the time and slowly knee bend lengthen your opposite leg 10 9 8 7 6 belly button in three press your arms down and slowly bring your foot down lengthen your arms lengthen and bend your knees press your feet down and bend your elbows and lengthen so 10 times with your own breath keep breathing nine stretch your chest eight and work the back of your spine six keep breathing five Go a little bit further, your arms are working at the same time. Three. Feel balance on both sides. And last one. And slowly hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, lengthen your legs, dorsi flex with the feet again. And now this time, I want to engage your core, lengthen your spine, hands on your thighs, and shoulders down, lean backward. You can always use your hand behind your hips if it's easier for you uh, to work the core, to support the core. Otherwise, just put it on your thighs and push your chest up. So we're totally using the core now to keep your body in this position. And then round your spine and lengthen and round. Do it as low as you can because the slower we do, the more challenging it is. Very good. And 10. Slowly. 9. Keep breathing. 8. Seven, six, and five. Don't over rowdy. Four, 
just slowly and lightly three engage your core listen to your lower back two and last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest that's amazing you know deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i wanted to inhale and go to the beginning of the mat we're gonna do a little massage with your back i have to move the um mic over the side so i can go down safely all right now lift your heels off the mat use your hand to hug your shin and try to lift each leg up at a time so that way you can keep balance on your sitting bones Roll your spine chin your chest belly button in inhale go down to your shoulder and exhale come back rolling like a ball 10 times so use your core to roll and keep balance don't bring your feet down keep balance on your feet on your sitting bones when you come back nine eight and seven keep breathing only go down to your shoulder and always keep the chin to your chest to protect your neck five four use your core to roll up three engage your core two don't pull so hard on your legs just use the core to work the movement and last one and slowly bring your feet down now a little bit more challenging so open your knees wider use your hand to hug your ankles from inside out and lift your feet up activate your feet now i want to inhale tap tap and then bring it down around your spine tap tap and come back tap tap so we're gonna try to do it for five times with your own breath so inhale right your spine go to the shoulder chin to chest and come back tap tap go down tap tap four belly button in three two and last one and slowly bring your feet down hug your knees to your chest all right now go lengthen your legs again dorsi flex with your feet pull the belly button in rotate the shoulders fully to far direction and reverse the last challenge for today i wanted to lay all the way down on your back i'm gonna do the hundred so to make it really challenging lengthen your legs to 45 degree and start to pumping your arm inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale and exhale and bend your knees anytime if you feel it's easier for you lift your chest higher use your hand to support your head if you need to or just try to lift your chest even higher to support the neck lengthen your legs inhale and exhale Press your lower back down to the mat. Feel your legs, your core are shaking. Very good. Keep breathing, chest up higher. And five. Four. Three. Two. Press your lower back down. And last one. And slowly press your torso down, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth that's feel amazing i want to inhale one more time rotate your ankles and reverse and we are moving to the cool down part here so i wanted to press one foot down lengthen one leg all the way up extend your ankles and then dorsi flex with the ankle so extend and 90 degrees and five four three two and last one rotate your ankles five four three two one and then reverse five four three two one and slowly bring your toes towards the inside and towards the outside and five four three lengthen your leg as much as you can two and last one all right very good bring your knees down to the opposite side and Dorsi flex and plantar flex. So five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. And now slowly rotate your ankles. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. And now slowly bring your toes towards the inside and to the outside. And five, 
four, three, very good. Two orange movement, last one. All right, hug your knees to your chest, stretch your hips, rotate your ankles, and reverse. Bring your legs up to 90 degrees, dorsiflex flex with your feet, arms along your body. Now I wanted to inhale and slowly lengthen both legs and bring it back, or just each leg at a time if it's feel better and easier for you. So four, three, and two more times, stay with your own breath. Last one. Bring your feet down. All right, now I'm going to bring your knees open. Make a little pause for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep breathing. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And slowly bring it back. Now lift your heels off the mat and then bring your toes off the mat. So 5, 4, very good. 3, keep breathing. 2, and last one. Lift and down and bring your leg to the opposite leg. Hug your thighs to the chest to make a little pull. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Very good. 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down to the other side. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 and slowly bring your legs down now keep your feet together center open your arms as wide as you can and slowly bring your feet your whole legs to one side rotate your head to the opposite side feel your obliquity twisting and to the other side and slowly bring your torso back to the center all right and lean on one side to sit up lengthen your legs Dorsi flex with your feet and the arms to the front. Brow your spine and bring your torso towards the front and come back, shoulders down. So I wanted to listen to your lower back. You don't have to move your lower back so forward. You can stay here and only your upper spine round and start to move from there. So you're going to feel the middle spine stretching and your whole spine stretching actually. So keep breathing. And four, belly button in three. Lengthen your spine, sit up. Two. And last one, and slowly bring it back. Open your torso to the side, soften your elbows, rotate and flex forward. Come back to the other side, round your spine, flex forward and bring it back. And again, don't have to move so far. Now listen to your lower back here and go more on your upper spine. Very good. To the opposite side. But if you feel like you want a little bit stretch on the hips as well and feel good enough with the lower back, then go to the ankles. Very good. And two more times each side here with your own breath. To the other side. And last one. To the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Hands down. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Bend both knees, hand to the opposite thigh, and bring the opposite hand on the front in the front of your chest. Open your elbows wider, come back. So five, four, belly button in three, two, and last one. Open, come back to the other side. Open and come back for four, three, two, and last one. Slowly bring your hands down, shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale. Now feel free to cross your legs if you feel comfortable with your legs or just bend your knees, open your legs. And now slowly hands on your knees, stretch your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale. Bring your head to one side, to the opposite side. Come back two more times each side. And last one. And back to the center. Look down to the mat. From feel the back of your neck is stretching. And look up. And two more times. And last one. And back to the center, rotate your head all around the neck, fully to four directions. In three more rounds. Two. Slowly inhale, halfway, exhale, halfway. You can close your eyes if you want. 
And last one. Now reverse. And three more rounds. Two. And last one. And bring your head back to the center. Relax your shoulders. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Open your arms to the side. Lean on one side to the side bending. Come back to the opposite side. And slowly back to the center. And five more times each side here. Try to reach your hand a little bit further. Try to open your chest wider. Come back to the other side. And back to the center in three. Two, reach, come back, and last one, inhale, exhale back, inhale to the opposite side, exhale back and hands down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth, open your legs as wide as you can, or just start with a narrow angle, and I wanted to inhale, dorsiflex flex with your feet, and now engage your core, try to lift your knees higher, and then bring it down for five, belly button in, four, three, two, and one, good, and now slowly inhale, open your arm to the side, and lean on one side, come back, don't have to go so far, listen to your body, just listen to the waist, to the lower back, and the hips, and back to the center, one more time, and slowly bring your hands down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, all right, and now bring your legs towards the front, flex with your feet, soften your knees and move forward and bring it back and one more time and bring it back and slowly hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep breath, exhale deeply, inhale and exhale and slowly sit tall. You can close your eyes, relax your shoulders, relax all the muscles from your head to the toes. Just slowly skim it. Inhale. And exhale. One more deep breath. And exhale. And slowly open your eyes when you're ready. And that's the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout. Bye-bye.